Hi everyone, Helena and John here for The Hiking Child. And today we're talking about crepes. If you read our article, The Best Breakfast for Hiking, you know that we're recommending crepes as one of the good breakfast alternatives before going hiking with kids. And today we're going to show you how to make those. So to go ahead quickly, we've got, in accordance with the instructions that are in our article, we've got two large eggs, we've got uh, three and a half ounces or 100 grams of white flour, 1.75 ounces or 50 grams of whole grain flour. We've got 9.5 ounces or 280 milliliters of milk. This is 3.2 percent. We've got some organic maple syrup. We've got some carbonated water in the SIG bottle here. We have salt. We don't have any vanilla extract, but we do have a vanilla stick. So we're going to cut a little bit of that up and add it to our batter. We have a little bowl ready with frying oil and a food grade paintbrush that we're going to use to, to uh, oil the pan. We have a Bamix stick blender with the whisk ending. This whisk ending is important because it actually aerates the batter. It makes it more fluffy. So that, that's the reason we use that. Exactly, says Helena. And here uh, we have a beaker. In a this beaker, case, a beaker. a beaker, exactly. In this case, we're using a glass bottom beaker. It yeah, does yeah. not have to be bottom, obviously. It doesn't even have to be glass. What's important yeah. is that it's cylindrical and tall. You don't want to be doing this in a bowl. Uh, the batter simply blends better inside a tall beaker. Yeah. So that's it. That's all we need. And we'll be right back to show you how to get this done. So Helena is going to start off by putting the white flour into the beaker. She's going, yeah, that's the white flour, so go ahead, get it into the beaker. She's using a spoon because it's difficult for her to just pour straight from the bowl. Okay. Go ahead, keep going. I can help you out and I can pour some of the whole grain flour into the beaker, leaving just a little bit behind. We've got the two eggs cracked already, so those are going in. That's good for now. Uh, we already shaved off some of the vanilla. Again, we don't have vanilla extract today, we're using raw vanilla. So that's going in there. Helenka, a little bit of Salt, please. Yeah, here I'll help you with that. It's a hard one, the salt. We're using pink Himalayan salt for this. That's enough. There you go, we're good. And we're adding most of the milk. Actually, before the milk, we're still going to add the maple syrup. Yeah, we're just going to add. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that in a second. I'm just going to add a dash of maple syrup. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. Just like that. Now we're adding three quarters of the milk. Okay. And a dash of gas water that we guess. Ready? Okay, that's enough. That's gas, that's gas water. Okay, we have all our ingredients in the beaker. We just have a little bit of milk and flour left over, which we're going to add at the end. And now we need to blend it. So we're going to take a stick blender. And I'm going to do this. No, you can't do this. Okay, because because this is a, it's a dangerous device. So I'll do it. Here we go, nice and quick. We start blending on high. Okay. And get ready, Helena, to add more flour. Add a little bit more flour. Okay, it's very runny right now. You can add the rest of that flour, actually. Yeah? This flour? Yeah, this is the flour. And yeah, then we'll add the rest of this. Okay, what we're going to try to show you here is the consistency you were going for with the batter. So as you see, basically the batter has a, has a consistency that looks like thick wall paint. That's what you're pretty much trying to go for here. There you go. If it 
resembles anything close to that, you're in good shape. Okay guys, we've got the batter ready. Thank you. The pan is hot. It's been heating for at least five minutes on the high setting, so it's very, very hot. It's smoking hot. Very, very hot. We give it a dab of oil using the paintbrush. You see it's drips, not puddles. It's drops, I guess, not drips. Just a very small amount of oil. You take the batter, you angle the pan a little bit, give it a pour, and let the runoff back into the beaker. That keeps the crepes nice and thin, which is what you want. And the pan should be hot enough that it should be about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. Helena, you're done? You had enough? Okay, Helena had enough. This has been about 30 seconds. Just going to take a look. Oh yeah. A nice golden brown color. Very light, you don't want it burnt. About 20, 30 seconds on the other side. You can come back here instead. We've got Helena eating them already. I gotta hurry up. And that's ready. Oh, that's a ready crepe. That's it. Okay, we got a few crepes ready. A little bit of oil. Let's get one more going here. Obviously it's nice if these have a nice shape, but if they don't, who cares? Quite frankly. Who cares? Exactly. Who cares? If you can't get them looking perfect, that's fine. As long as they taste good, that's what matters. Okay, we're doing 30 seconds. Maybe a little bit more in this one. This one's, this one. No, I'm okay. Thank you. I'll have some in a second. This one's a little thick, so it might take a little bit longer. Uh, oh, but look at that. It's already, it's already peeling off nicely. Oh yeah. It's all it takes. It's got the nice golden color. You want the color. It just looks tasty. Helena, how are they? Good. That's good. Okay guys, crepes. The hiking child.